currently 1 a.m. and we are heading to the airport. Well, we're at the airport. Um, hopefully heading to our next destination. So the really convenient thing about El Salvador is being fully vaccinated, you don't need a negative COVID test in order to get in. We still got one just in case they did ask for it, but we weren't really, nobody asked us about it once we showed our vaccine card. So if you're fully vaccinated, you can come here and save a ton of time and money for the COVID test. Bienvenido a San Salvador. So we are currently in El Salvador. We just got in, it's currently 7 a.m. Today's gonna be a nice relaxing beach day because we can't really check into our Airbnb till about one or two o'clock. Um, so we're gonna head to Mizata, which is a beach region, maybe about an hour and 30 minutes away from the airport. Um, so just waiting to catch this cab and head over there. So stay tuned for today, all right? got out of the cab um we actually couldn't go down because it looks like it's an off-road so we're gonna walk to the beach and see how it goes from there yeah there's no way he could have came down there the boonies come on that's the big chicken i ain't gonna hold you okay now i'm gonna take you guys to our first destination now we beach house let's walk through Beach House was highly recommended to us. It's $20 for a day pass, but you get a welcome drink. You get used to all the facilities and they have a ton of facilities, infinity pools. They have an open gym over there. Um, and horseback riding. And horseback riding on the beach. So all day pass for $20 is definitely, definitely worth it. They even have this really cool access right here. And then you look out and that's the beach. It's a nice little tree house. Live, stop being so scary, come on. Where are we, Darren? Uh, so we're at Nawi Beach House. We're chilling on top of this. I don't know what this is, but. I don't know. It's like a string. <laughs> we're floating over the bar. It's cool. It's beautiful. <laughs> nice, relaxing. Breakfast, this is a banana oat pancake for Liv. And this is, what is this, Liv? It's eggs, beans, What's the name chicken. Of it? I don't remember the name. I don't know, loaded quesadillas, I don't know, something like that, but it looks good. What's up? So we're just chilling here on these day beds. Great vibes over here. Nice relaxing day for the week. Because this is a black sand beach, this is fire. Do not stand on this black sand. You gotta stay right here in the shade. She is a devil. I don't know why she wanna be there. But I need to be. I'm trying to work out, but we take no days off even on vacation. All right, Queen, show me that pull up. Let's go. Yeah. And Liv just chilling here all day getting drinks. She was drinking a pina colada earlier. Now she getting a strawberry mojito. What's next? So the next thing on our list here at Naui Beach House is to horseback ride. So included in that $20 day pass is the chance to a horseback ride. Get 
And just like that, we're leaving Maui Beach House. Now this place was amazing. It's the infinity pool. It's right on a beachfront. We get to ride horses, cheap prices for drinks, great food, and an amazing ambiance. Don't forget, they have a gym, so you can still get it in, all right? But please, 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 if you're in a Saint, uh, if you're in a San Salvador, El Salvador region, what should they do, Liv? Come to Naui Beach House. Naui Beach House. <laughs> and welcome to our Airbnb. Look at this view right in the heart of San Salvador. Open shower concept. And look at this beautiful view. Not you. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> you too. <laughs> So we're at Papuceria Suiza, uh, right in San Salvador. Um, we're gonna try it out, try different things. My Spanish is good, but not really with food. So I think I ordered the right things, but we'll see. We're gonna try it anyway, so stay tuned with it. So we got our pupusas. Now, pupusas are like a thick brittle cake um, that's stuffed with a so many different things, whatever you really want. Um, traditionally, it's with a rose, which is rice flour and also corn tortillas. Um, it also depends on like what you want to get. But we're from New York. There's a ton of Salvadorians there, and we've had this is before. But you gotta get them in El Salvador, right? Um, so mine are right here. I think mine are chicharron, um, queso, which is cheese, uh, sausage, and different things. What did you get, Liv? Uh, mine has spinach, cheese, and some beans. It's a little assortment of everything. So. So we're gonna try these out. Um, also with it, you have this cabbage. So it's cabbage, carrots, jalapenos, different kind of assortment of different things that you're supposed to put on top. And then they also have this nice, oh, it's still hot too. Um, the salsa that's supposed to be picante, so nice little spiciness that goes on top as well. So um, we also got these drinks, so I got a frozen um, coconut. Yeah, coconut minus pineapple. Cheers. Really cool. That's really good. All right. Let's eat these. Well, first, let's get it time. Okay, so traditionally, you're supposed to take this cabbage here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the hot sauce on top of this. So. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Listen, I'm not one to gas it, but if you are in San Salvador, Liv, tell them where they should eat. You need to go to Pupusadia Suiza. <laughs> Yo, different eats. 
very, very good. Get these pupusas, and they're most exactly. importantly, they're inexpensive. Yeah. So get it. All right. So our next adventure is going to be heading to the Volcan de Santa Ana. Um, it's about an hour away from where we were in San Salvador. So we're heading there. We just got an Uber from San Salvador. Um, so we're heading, it's actually the tallest volcano in all of El Salvador, and El Salvador is known for its volcano. So I'm um, hoping it's gonna be a really good um, view and climb. You ready, Liv? Ryan, Let's do it. So we were trying to hike the volcano, but unfortunately it looks like the tour starts actually at 9 a.m. and not 11 a.m. like everywhere on the internet says because of the pandemic. So we're not gonna climb the volcano. Um, I guess we just gonna walk around and hopefully see something, but I don't know, I'm kind of blown right now because I really wanted to hike that volcano, but um, let's see what else is here. So now instead we're doing this um, walk around the crater. Just a little hike, it's supposed to be 45 minutes. It's supposed to have some views, but this is the only other option we could do. this hike is it does bring us to Lago de Guatepeque which is a beautiful lake right here it is kind of foggy but still beautiful here what you think Liv? I love it. There we go. <laughs> so we were trying to see the lake but as you can see there is nothing there. It was there before and then it got very foggy. I don't know how it got so foggy but there is literally nothing here. They're nada, see? What? They're nada. Yeah. <laughs> Neblina. todo. So pretty much we weren't able to get to the volcano. I really wanted to do it, but we have an option to go at 9 a.m. It's two hours away from where we are. We have a flight tomorrow at 7 p.m. Um, we'll be cutting it a little close, but I really want to hike the volcano. What do you guys think? Should we do it? All right, so in order to get back into America, you need to get a te COVID test. So you can either get a PCR test, which is more expensive and takes more time, or you could do an antigen test, which is a rapid test, and they usually get results in about an hour. So we're heading to our next place, um, but before we do that, we have to get this COVID test. Um, I believe it is a nasal swab, so they go up both nostrils, um, but I'm just happy to get it over with and get that one hour um, result back so that I don't have to stress about it tomorrow having to go back home. All right, next thing is to go in the markets. Oops, better be safe. Oh, lo siento. All right, so we just came home from the Mercado Nacional de Artesanas. I believe that's how you say it. Pardon me if I'm butchering the name, but what I will say about El Salvador and the um, merchants are they are not nagging everybody was super chill which was a blessing i've gone to a lot of different places where people just nag you and follow you around and try to get you to buy stuff and this was not the case also they have a lot of really cool um locally made things there so i'd highly recommend it and they do bargain so um, be sure to bargain and haggle and get a good price for it all right so we're at picnic steakhouse hoping to see some of the rainbow slide they got a nice little garden here so hoping that it's going to be cool here with my queen we'll see and here we are at picnic steakhouse we'll go this way Liv. nice little ambiance lit up let's walk through here nice little garden area picnic table look at this elephant Okay. Nice little ambiance. More floral decor, more hearts. Look at that. Come over here. Still great ambiance. Look at this. Nice little love sign. It's all lit up. All right, so now we got to go down this rainbow slide. Look at this thing, it's almost vertical. He cleaned it for me, I'm the last one to go.
Yo, the slide is crazy, y'all. I highly, highly recommend it. But what I will tell y'all, the problem is, is that it's pretty vertical and it closes at five. I didn't see nowhere that said that. So listen, if you do need to come, make sure you come before five o'clock because, so Liv, yeah. how was it? Good. I screamed my head off so I couldn't scream again. <laughs> it sent me backwards. <laughs> yeah, I went backwards down too. <laughs> so I know everybody comes here to take pictures and to go down the slide, but it actually is a restaurant. So we'll let you guys know how the food really is, but we ordered some things and we'll see how it goes. I got my food. This is $13 in El Salvador. <laughs> I mean, I ain't tasty it yet. It might be good, but this ain't it. I got shrimp alfredo. Looks like a full plate full, so I'm happy with that. I got a margarita also. What kind of drink did you get? A watermelon frozen drink. How it's does it taste? Not alcoholic. It's pretty good. It tastes like watermelon. Okay, but cool. But I am not happy with it. <laughs> All right, so we took a couple bites. Mine is good. I would say it is good, but it's just little. I would like more food. Mine is so good, the shrimp alfredo. Delicious, love it, creamy, thick, love it so much, it's so good. Yeah, listen, she went all the way to El Salvador <laughs> to get the best chicken alfredo she said she's ever. Alfredo. Shrimp alfredo. This is the best shrimp alfredo it's you ever so had? good, I didn't expect it. She went to El Salvador to get shrimp alfredo. <laughs> Yo, bro. Bro. I don't know why you over here looking at me. Like, we don't got no food for you. There's mad other tables over here. You gonna come to me to get some food? Yeah, I know. Do better. Do better. So it's currently 7 a.m. and we decided that we're gonna go to the volcano. Um, we have to be there by 9 a.m. so we're leaving early to make sure that we're there. And honestly, I don't know when the next time I'm gonna be in El Salvador and I know it's something I wanna do. So forget the money, forget the time that it's gonna take. I know that I wanna get there, so let's do it. Uh, me and the queen are heading up to go do that hike that we missed out on yesterday. So hopefully the views are worth it. From the pics, it looks like it's worth it. But um, let's hope that it's not a lot of fog, no rain, and a beautiful day for us here. All right, so it's 8.30. We got here early, thankfully. Um, we're going to make that tour at 9 o'clock. Now, the cool thing about this now is they have a nice little section over here where you can eat, chill, buy drinks, um, souvenirs or whatever it is before the tour. So you don't need to eat before that um, 9 a.m. tour. Um, just get here a little bit early um, and we'll just wait here until that nine o'clock starts, okay? So it is the rainy season. It is kind of cold. We have shorts and stuff on. So she's gonna buy a hoodie because she's cold. Weather is a little foggy and a little chilly, but it looks good, right, Liv? Yeah. Yeah, $20 we bought this for, so. So we had pupusas for breakfast, but we're heading on this hike. I got a chance to try this traditional meal, which is atol. I think this is kind of made out of cornmeal, but I'll try it and let y'all know. Mm. It's hot. It's hot. It tastes like a cornmeal porridge. Kind of chocolatey though. Smooth, but it's hot. <laughs> it's mad foggy. I hope it gives me some energy for this um, hike. <laughs> Ooh, prepare. And it looks like we got a big group today hiking this volcano. You also have to pay a dollar each in order to get in with the guide. So. so the first part of this has like stairs. Um, it's mud, but it's pretty clear. Um, and you're descending this whole time. So probably for about the first 30 minutes or so, we're just descending, so it's not too hard right now. And just in case you did get here a little late, about 30 minutes in the hike, you um, have an opportunity to buy different food from vendors. Um, you have drinks here, you have fresh fruit, fresh fruit. Um, so still got opportunities to do things just in case. Walking sticks are also available for purchase if you do need, so. So we thought we were walking the entrance the whole time, but in actuality, we were walking to get to the entrance. So it looks like it's two hours from here. For tourists that are not from here, it's $6. If you have a student ID, bring it, because you do get a discount. Yeah. So right here, $6 for us. So. 
going up to the volcano. I feel like we've been walking for like 20 minutes, but from right here, it says we're only one hour away. So let's go with it. That's good news, right? Hiking for a little bit. I think we're so high now that we're in the clouds or maybe this is just fog. <laughs> Either way, walking up. Along the way, you see they got little banana trees. That's cute. Oh, you can't see nothing. Look at the beautiful view. So it's pretty rocky here. Good. That's my baby. Go queen, go queen, go. <laughs> All right, and we made it to the first viewpoint about an hour in. Here we go. It's hot. I still got my hoodie on. Queen had to take hers off, but great views nonetheless about an hour in. Here we are. I just want to shout out my queen here. She's really killing this hike. Oh man. And Queen, guess what? I think we're making it to the top right now. Let's Ryan take a look. Little. Here we are, finally made it to the Volcan de Santa Ana. It took us about two hours to get here, but look at this beauty at this top. Now, this has this unique blue colorway based on the sulfur. And even if you get to the top, you can still smell the sulfur. But look at this beautiful crater. Um, it is still active. So going down is actually the same route as going up. So we've already done all of these, but um, just following the route. We're in a big group, like I said, but still in the clouds. They even, they even brought a helicopter to come save us. Lift, it's for you. I know you don't want to go anymore. Oh, why is it not coming for you though, Liv? Oh man, guess we gotta walk. And just like that, we're back at the entrance. It actually only caught, uh, took us about one hour to get down here. Liv, how was it? Give him, give him a description. Do you see my hair? <laughs> She's dead. But I'd say it is a pretty moderate hike. Um, up and down. Moderate? What do you think it was? It's definitely an expertise. Like if you have high level of expertise to hike that. Okay, because I'm a beginner and it was a lot for me. That's what I said. It was a, it was a moderate. No, I could have used a longer break up there. Um, but overall, we probably have about 10 more minutes to go. About an hour it takes us to get down there, about two hours to get up there. So, um, pretty beautiful hike anyhow, right? Was it worth the views? It was beautiful up there. Look at this. My girl, Big Toe, is talking. Look at it talking. What is it, Liv? Tell me. What is it? <laughs> it's talking to her. And then, I gotta treat myself to some traditional food. Sopa de gallina. I'm gonna get some mango, some yuca chips. Oh, I need this, I need this, I need this. So overall, I would highly, highly recommend doing that um, Santa Ana Volcano. Um, it is beautiful views. Uh, overall, it took us about four hours, give or take, up and down. Um, great views. So what I would really say, if you're in the El Salvador region, please come. Or even if you're not, anywhere you go, you got to come and check out the uh, Volcan de Santa Ana.